Nice. And we'll be keeping our eyes on the store to see if any nice equipment comes up that we can make use of. How am I doing here with the slurry application? We're definitely beating them in the Massey on this. So uh, I, I'm not sure I've got enough time to run down to the other yard, fill up the tank again and come back if I don't get this all done in one go. So, okay, so at this point, stream ending could be very quick, depending on how long it takes Mrs. Osa to pick up the kids. Um, but um, I'm going to say today was a good success. We have we finished the harvest completely. Um, we're already planting our winter crops. Um, and they will be finished sometime on this game day or at least this game month and uh, still got the uh, weeding to do yeah it's the far the farm is going well um, I don't know how our income is gonna look I would like to increase the uh, the processing capacity of the dairy because we just have way too much milk for it to cope with. Other productions, I'm not looking at any other productions at this point. Um, I'm kind of okay um, with just having bread product, you know, final bread production, flour occasionally, and uh, butter. But. Uh, I think everything else we do is fine. Obviously we've got the greenhouse as well, which is producing a good number of tomatoes and probably even more now because we've made that level two. And I might bump that up a couple of levels because at 2000 a level, you can push them up to 10. Um, it just kind of makes, oh, cracky. Seriously, we've got 600 liters. How close is this going to be? Do I have to bring Bessie over and just get her to poop on the field and shovel it around a bit? Uh, oh, what a... Gee. Okay, I'm going to say that really doesn't matter. And the reason that really doesn't matter is because um, it's such a small piece that we can just go and get... Um, we the, the sprayer will take care of that and the you know, the price of it is just going to be negligible. Probably costs us more in diesel to drive back to the other yard and fill it up and come back again. So I'm good with where that is. Um, do we turn the engine on? We'll run these over to the other yard. done, shipping's done, header still needs put away, seeding is going and we are at 27% seed so we're okay for that. Dude, do not, Jeez. and that's the problem, that's what happened last time um, when the worker Obviously, the Massey just got thrown off the uh, the AI traffic and ended up in a tree. Now he's going to do exactly the same thing. <sighs> Good grief. Well, that's nice. Turn the worker off. No. Just fold that up. Oy vey. Okay. On a follow, yes. 
go backwards down here. Yeah. And get that driving straight. So, manure tanker is done with for the year. Ugh. Now, I did actually say that there is the possibility that you can do fertilization contracts with a manure spreader if you want to. Um, so if I do find that our manure is getting completely out of hand, what I can do is just stop that there. Um, what I can do is just say, okay, we'll, um, we'll use up some of our manure in a contract. It's going to be a pain in the butt because you have to move it. But I think um, yeah, it, it's an option that we have. Plus, it'll um, what's it? Uh, it will contaminate all of our competitors' crops so that uh, we get the best prices, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I, I must admit I haven't tried it in twenty two. But back in nineteen, you could you yeah when when you had a a fertilization contract, you could you could use anything available. You could borrow the equipment. You could, and in seventeen they gave you the contents. Actually, no, you didn't. Did you? They always gave you the equipment. In 19, you could borrow the equipment or you could use your own. Um, and just because they were going to loan you a fertilizer spreader didn't mean that you couldn't use your, your sprayer to do the work or a manure spreader to do the work. So that's always a possibility. We might be buying more lease or we might be leasing them some more equipment I think towards the end of this year can't see a need for a manure spreader right now because uh, obviously we have completely done all of our fields and uh, we still have 180,000 litres of slurry I'm guessing which you know is a thing how are we doing? Diesel's good, maintenance is good, the spreader is good. Uh, that's loading. What was I going to look at? I wasn't going to look at this. Is there anything new? No, just the tiny tractor. Uh, cows. Slurry. We have, we still have 200,000 litres of slurry, so it's not like uh, that's going to be a problem anytime soon. I need another bag of lime because, as I said, I don't know that 2,000 is sufficient. I think 4,000 is way more than we need, but yeah, I, I can't. I don't want to risk not having enough and having to come down to the store again than having too much and just putting a pallet or two on the side. Uh, oh, nobody hung yet. So we're good. And I still have some tea to drink. And there we go, 4,000 litres. Let's get this back to... field we're planning for soybeans next year and of course there's still some fields that are ready to harvest here so as we build up money which unfortunately has gone down a bit because we we have used a lot of workers today but as we build up cash we can look at buying some of these other fields as well I'm gonna probably avoid a lot of the grass fields they're kind of useful as contracts um, and I can either use them as a money boost if they're silage contracts or to boost our hay availability 
on the uh, cow feeder um, and that's that's quite a common thing that I do because I don't I don't find hay is particularly valuable so carting 50 bales of hay down to um, the hay selling store the animal dealer it's just there's so much hauling and so little profit um, I don't feel the uh, the value um, a lot and a lot of the grass fields we do are on this north edge of the map near our arable farm and so I just end up with hay obviously silage is worth quite significantly more and so yes I want to I want to take the benefit of that. I didn't. I could have stopped at the dairy and see how much it cost. Oh, the other thing, we've got to transport some milk to the dairy. I'm kind of waiting until the cow shed is at fifty thousand liters before we we haul it, because obviously, once I'm in the tanker, I'd like to do the trip. Yeah. Do all the trip, all do all the tanking in one go, or freighting in one go, whatever it is that we do. Two twenty three forty four on the clock for stream length. Oh, and um, obviously the YouTube people. YouTube people won't hear this, but um, tomorrow morning our uh, massive Christmas New Year stream dump is complete. They will be on the last drop for episode 40, so tomorrow morning second video drop will be the first part of today. So uh, I could say welcome to the YouTube people and you are now caught up but obviously um, seven videos drop this one's not going to drop till about Friday or so so they're not going to see this one for a short time so let's uh, unfold that and go Here is to run along to the end. Which should give us better coverage when the worker takes over. Done. And we have got quite a good distance on this one. I think looks like 17% seed left oh that's sounding a bit close to uh, not sufficient although I'm guessing he's done quite well we'll go check as soon as I get the opportunity to stick this on the worker We'll go see how the barley's doing and then um, I guess we can potter around in the John Deere for a little while. More. We've been in the John Deere a lot today. Okay. Come out and work up. Okay, how's the planting? Ooh. Um, I can't remember how much seed we had in there. It was about 27%. We should get this field done. Then we're going to have to find some more seed. Um, I get out at the Land Rover. I think this is the seed distributor. 
Um, that's a fertilizer tank. Okay, this is the seed. And that one is empty, so we may need to order in some seed. There's the land road. Are we good with that? Let's go back to the John Deere. Okay, what do I need to do here? Let's turn the engine on. Let's get let's get this place cleaned up. It's looking a mess. find the manure spreader a little, or the slurry spreader, a little bit annoying in that the, uh, the injector at the back, what am I stuck on, there we go. Uh, is a separate tool and you have to lower it to the ground when you disconnect. So when next time I have to use this I have to remember to raise it. Which is a little bit annoying, but uh, just tab. But it's a reasonable size. Obviously, bigger is nicer, but I would probably need a huge tractor to run a big one, or bigger one. Of course, this is not the best piece of equipment to try and park all this stuff with. Because it's a little on the large side. So, still undecided if we're going to even attempt pigs on this map. Just because uh, they don't make a lot of money. And then we have to worry about feeding them all the stuff. And uh, with Maze Plus, they eat more stuff. Whoops. Oh, it won't disconnect until you lower the thing on the back. So, did I just drop the thing on the back? I did. Okay, now we lower the thing on the back. Then we select the tank. And there we go. Magic fixed it. So also with the with the increased production rate in the um, in the greenhouse there, I am going to have to uh, watch the water level and manure level and seed level because they're going to use up much faster than they were before about twice the rate. Anyway, let's... I did not change that back into a mower. I must do that now. Reattach the blades for mowing rather than... Uh, doing whatever I'm doing with them. Then we can put it away. And get that lined up good. Can I get in there? Yes. All right, uh, John Deere. Mowing thing. Mulcher, no. Customize, yes. Okay, we... What happened? Okay, the tractor's still there. Um, reattach it. Oh, that was what the problem was. Um, the tractor was noted in the, uh, in the workshop, but then when the mower disconnected, the tractor was no longer in the uh, maintenance area. That's fine. So, put the mower away. 
then I think I'm probably done with this tractor. And I think the way I've got things set up at the moment, this tractor lives in this yard. Don't know why. I think because I don't have any heavy equipment, so it really doesn't matter where this tractor lives. Um, put that there. Major, I'll drive this over to the other yard. It really, as I said, it really doesn't matter whether this where this tractor lives, but uh, there's no heavy jobs to do here, so uh, I'm good with this. And it can live with the harvester, which is another heavy, expensive piece of equipment. Not so expensive because we bought everything used. still. Cedar's still going. The, oh, hang on. What's going on? AI worker. Right, the cedar's still running. He's nearly done. Doing a good job, man. The lime spread has stopped, so either he ran out, he crashed into a tree, or he's done. Um, guess he's on a postcard. engine off. Okay, let's go find the lime spreader. Ooh. He is somewhat done. And yes, 1300 litres is uh, exactly a thing. So as I was saying, I want I wasn't sure whether we were going to get 2,000 litres or 4,000 litres. Obviously, 2,000 litres definitely wasn't enough. And 4,000 litres was definitely more than we needed. But I saved myself a trip to the store to uh, get this field finished. And obviously, with lime, I want the field finished. Because there's no other opportunity. Still, that's all done. Might be done. Don't think this is going to trigger. Nope. So we can fold that up. And that field is now ready for spring. Ferguson is still doing its planting, so I will wash this. Oh, actually, yeah, we have things to do. Okay, we're out. What happened? I got back in the tractor. Do not get back in the tractor. Yeah. So I'm spray that off. I shouldn't, but I'm going to leave the lime in the spreader because we own this now. And the next thing that's going in this spreader is more lime next year. And there isn't a lime storage point in Farm Sim 19. So I will park this, I think, next to the tree planter, which needs a service, but uh, that's a thing. in there. And that's good enough. Let's drop that. Boop. And go pick up the sprayer again. <clears throat> So, as I said, that needs unloading. We'll do that. 
and we will drag this uh, almost empty Eight hundred ninety-six liters of Vertline. Actually, we'll put it down, and I'll step back so I can actually walk without bashing my knees against it. There we go. And for some reason, I am now stuck on something. Okay. Oh. Close enough. Okay, we got that done. We'll drag this one out. 1,381 litres. Not sure <coughs> if that is sufficient, but uh, we'll get that loaded in. Solid fertiliser, liquid fertiliser. Herbicide is not something we can purchase on the farm so I would have to go to the store to get some more but this thing is all ready to do its thing on the two fields that we have weeds in and the canola will be you know, sit back and wait for spring Oh, I know what's going on there. So the big triangle at the top where there used to be trees, there are no weeds there, but we are getting penalised for um, no weed control. But we plough, we created this field with a plough, and so this area will never get weeds until it's harvest. Thus, um, but we have to do something about that. Now what I can do is I'll uh, you know, extend the arms, turn the, uh, the weed, the sprayer on and just drive a little bit onto this piece and it'll say, oh, you've dealt with the weeds. I'm going to turn that off now. You are finished, you think. So. Again, fighting with the trees. But, uh, we can now go... Once around the field, finish it off. And we're down to 173 litres of seed in the tank, so I am going to have to fill this up before I can do the other field, which is significantly larger. And then this field and the other barley field I'm planning to put barley in will be our whole crop silage for next year. Um, we'll do exactly the same as we did this year. We'll, um, we'll harvest two headlands, which will create some straw. We'll create some barley that we can take down to the mill. Um, and then the centre of the field, we'll mow, bale, wrap, and uh, give to the cows. Well, obviously this field will not yield very much in the way of whole crop silage, at least I don't expect it to. And that's primarily because there is um, there is not a lot of um, land in the middle of the field. Obviously the other field will back up. Um, the other field will yield way more just because of the percentage of land in the middle of it. And I think actually I did uh, I did do the edge of that because I reversed all the way back into the corner didn't I? I'm making a real pig's ear of this. But, uh, So I th think purchasing plants, we'll buy the seed at the arable farm just because that's where we need it and I don't want seed left over 
in the uh, in the thing um, in the silo if I'm going to be using the silo that's at the other farm for mineral feed for the cows so uh, we'll get this we'll we'll fill up the silo and then we'll get this topped off before we head back to the other farm and that should be good I hope and there we go we'll raise that turn it off so one field of barley yay and that will start growing September October 1 and we'll have to come back, finish the spraying, and spray for weeds. But, uh, okay, pull up here. Seeds, 27,000 litres. Not really. Um, let's go... 1,000? 1,000. Well, that's a pallet. So, kind of yes. Let's sufficient. Open the door. There we go. And fill it up. Oh. Um, let me out. There we go. Uh, okay, let's put 2,000 litres of seeds in there. I keep forgetting. This is actually quite a big seeder. Uh, let's put 5,000 in there. I mean, it's not like we're going to use 5,000 before the end of the year, but uh, that's a good amount. And that sounds like the kids are here. So, I will say thank you for watching. I hope you have a good week. And we'll be back next weekend with some more Farming Simulator on Maple Farm. But for now, I'm out of here. Have fun, everybody.